We would like to closely introduce the working system of Gmail GA1 ICE Class B device. Firstly, we are going to introduce the software of Gmail GA1 Power P450 ICE, which is locally produced by our company's research and development department, which is situated in Mersin University. All rights for the system parts and software belong to our company. When we look at the device, we can see two accessories, one GPS and one VHF antennas. The antennas are outdoor and are connected to the ICE device. Our ICE device can be connected to any screen available on board supporting chart plotter as well as tablets, laptops, and so on. The signal can be sent to up to two displays simultaneously. The connection to the screen can be done either by a wireless way or by a wire. Here you can see a wireless connection with the help of the Wi-Fi module manufactured by Gmail R&D. The screen is frequently updated by OpenCPN and shows exact position and location of the ships in real time. Usually, ICE devices, when receiving data from a GPS, face up to 6 meters of erosity. However, presented here device Gemel GA1 ICE B class reduces the probability of an error up to 2 meters. There are emergency buttons on this device, which other devices in the sector do not have. The buttons are as follows. The first one is fire alarm. The second one is technical problem. The third one is emergency health problem. And the last one is pirate or terror attack. Standard ICE devices output is to 2 to 2.5 watts in all cases. However, Gmail GA1's output is 12.5 watts in emergency situations, which allows this device to send an emergency signal as far as 20 to 35 miles. It's needed to mention that standard ICE equipment can send emergency signal only as long as 3 to 5 miles. If you press the corresponding button on the body of the device, it sends the signal to the relevant institution, for example, the Coast Guard, to request help. All commercial vessels over 10 meters long in Turkish waters are officially required to have a nice device. It is obligatory to have it on board. What's more, this equipment helps to set and share the identificational data of the vessel, for instance, the name of the ship, the type, whether it is commercial or passenger, technical characteristics such as dead weight, gross tonnage, and so on, with other parties, namely Coast Guard and other vessels. As it can be seen here, the screen shows ship's movement and destination course. This feature provides the possibility to take precaution measures in case of a potential risk of collision with other vessels nearby. In other words, the device can work as the second captain. Available on the market ICE devices don't usually have an incorporated power amplifier cards. On the contrary, Produced by Gmail Research and Development ICE device has got this power amplifier card integrated into the device itself. The picture which is sent by the ICE device to the screen shows the type of the vessel, commercial, tanker, bulker, passenger, and so on. There is also a drop-off list which can be seen on the screen with the name MSI and the call sign of the vessel. 
What's more, if we press on the icon of the ship, we can see the name and an MSI of the vessel. Due to the usage of an active GPS systems and the update frequency of 1 Hz, the device presented provides data flow through Galileo, GLONASS and GPS satellite systems currently on broadcast, which assists in the best positioning of vessels and minimizes deviation and drone location. In addition to this, the device exchanges data through the International Maritime Organization's specific NMEA communication protocol. Thus, it provides communication with all manufacturers, ICE devices and systems.